people can so much when you were growing up? Well, they had so many kids they had to can. And they canned them in half a gallon jars. They didn't use quart and pints like we do. Mama canned her stuff in half a gallon jars outside in a washing tub. Build a big fire underneath it. And we'd put them jars in a washing tub and we'd have to grab them, open the bar everywhere we fit. So why do you all still can if there's grocery stores? Yes, that food is terrible. If you open up a jar of home green beans and open up a can of green beans from the grocery store, you, know, you, would, you would know a difference. Maybe if you worked in a canner, like I did up north, you would not eat no canned food out of the store. here today I'm going to can barbecue beanie weenies and I'm going to start out with 20 29 ounces but I'm actually just going to use four cups of tomato sauce I'll pour it in here if I don't get it everywhere okay there's two cups Two more cups. And then I'm going to add one cup. I use Baby Ray's uh, barbecue sauce. You can use any kind you like. We just like the sweet Baby Ray's, so that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to pour that in there. I get all of it out. And I'm going to get me another cup here. And I'm going to use a one and a half cups of brown sugar. And I don't know where I put it. Here it is. You can guess a little bit on it how to cut. I have a hard time measuring exactly. Okay, that's one and a half cups of brown sugar. And I'm going to put a tablespoon of onion powder. And a tablespoon of garlic powder. And one cup of water.
And I'm going to mix this up really good and let it come to a good simmer. And then we'll get ready to work on putting it in the jar. Okay, I'm back. I've cut up my little weenies. Now you can use hot dog weenies. And I use the little Smokies because I had some in the freezer. And I've got them cut up. If you can see them. So uh, my sauce is simmering and it's just about ready. So I got my beans washed and ready. I put my jars. I got my jars ready. My seals ready. I've got me a rag with a little bit of uh, white vinegar to wipe the rims on the top. So I got everything ready, so we're going to get with it. Okay, first I'm going to put a fourth a cup of navy beans in the bottom of my jar. These has done been cleaned, by the way, and ready. And I'm going to put, oh, four or five of my weenies in there. And a half a cup of my syrup. And you notice it didn't fill all the way up to the top, so... I'm going to set that right there. I will just finish filling it off with uh, some warm water. And I'll just take me a, the end of my fork and mix it up a little bit. Okay, i got my rag ready. I'm going to wipe around the tops of my seals. Get that cleaned off. And there you go. That's all you got to do. Now, one, I've got a can on right now. So once I get these jars ready, I'll just let them set. Because I have to can these for an hour and 15 minutes on 10 pound of pressure. So I'll just get these ready. And as soon as uh, the other canner comes off, I will uh, take those out. And put this run on because I can't can tomorrow. The signs go bad. I've got to get it all done today. But this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and finish filling all these jars up. Just keep uh, repeating the same process until you get all your jars filled and get them ready. And that's all you got to do to can barbecue beanie weenies. And I'm telling you guys, these are really, really good. So, I hope you enjoy. I hope you try it and see if you like them as much as my family does. And thanks for watching Granny Women. Okay, guys, I've just about got my jars filled. I've got one more to do besides that, this one. And I've actually got enough. I'm going to add a little dab more. But I've actually got enough navy beans. To, I can do a run of pints. Half pints and pints. And you see I'm putting meat in here. So that means I need to cook it longer. So when I pressure can these, I'm going to pressure can them for an hour and 15 minutes. That's half pints and pints. Now if you're doing quarts, you probably need to go maybe about an hour and a half. A little bit longer. So, these are really good to take hunting, fishing, in your lunch. Just, uh, if you're busy through the day, don't want to cook nothing, you can open up a can. You can heat them up, eat them hot, or eat them cold right out of the jar. Either way you want to do it. But these are really, really good. And I hope you enjoy so come back and see us on Granny Women. You can watch us on YouTube, Facebook, and we'll be glad to see you. Okay, my canner started uh, canning, so uh, I'm going to let it do this for an hour and 15 minutes, and then we're going to cut it off. When it cools down, I'll take it out and put another run in. And my beanie weenies are done, and they look really good. Taste test for beanie weenies. Now these are the barbecue kind. I'll get you a spoon. Because okay. I've done a plain and I've done a barbecue. I'm standing really close to you, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got That's later. <laughs> we got barbecue beanie weenies. 
got a good seal on it. That's a good sign. Very good it seal. Is. There you yeah, go. Get the thing melting it with out of the drawer over there. I think I just got it. Here, I can do it. Let me do it. Oh. There we go. I know, I use So it. they are fresh. Alright, let me that get a close good. up here. Too close. Hmm. They're probably a week old. Yeah, that might be. Okay. All right, Cindy, what are you opening over there? The I got the gadget. Mm -hmm. I'm opening up. That's the plain bean wings. Okay. First of all, they smell great. Mmm. Ready? good better than beanie weenies in a can oh yeah yeah it's way better than beanie weenies in a can because the beans still have some texture in the can you know well in like the store-bought beans they're just kind of mushy you know at least have better flavor so very good oh, forest yeah. approved and you could like that, you could just take that for lunch, probably. That's what Just take does. your can mm -hmm. of beanie weenies and, That's and what take, your, does. Yeah. take your jar back home and I'll wash, wash it, it and redo it. Yep. That's why, that, that's great. And you know what's in it, too. And you know what's in it, honestly. <laughs> so, flavor these with, though. Uh, if it's not barbecue. I've got some liquid smoke in it, some um, mustard. Uh, tomato sauce, uh, onions. And, and they're in the store on sale, too, for $3. So she decided she'd just go ahead and start making her own. Mm. Very good. It's good. Which do you like best? Beanie weenies. Mm. Are you a barbecue or a plain? I mean, they're both good. I would, I just like barbecue. So, I mean, I would pick barbecue, but if I were to eat these, I'd probably put uh, hot sauce and stuff. I'd probably put hot sauce in both of them, just to be quite honest, just because I like hot sauce. But they're very good. So yes. what is, what does his typical lunch look like? He'll take a jar of beanie weenies and a pack of crackers and a jar of peaches or pears that I can, and that's his lunch. So he eats a lot on his lunch. Take some hunting. And he takes some hunting. He can put them in his backpack easy. You just put him a jar of peaches and a plain beanie weenies in his backpack. I like it. Lunchables. Yep. Appalachian Lunchables. <laughs> in North Carolina. She's older, a year older than they are. Maybe two years older than you all are. And she told Cindy she'd give anything if she had watched her mama cook and can because she does not know how to can nothing. And so you got to teach your kids because it's getting worse and it's going to come a day. They're going to have to eat what they've got at the house or go hungry. Mm -hmm. That's true. But you can't tell the young people that. We try to, but... I mean, I won't live to see it, probably. But there will be a day they'll go hungry if they don't have stuff for sale. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching and don't forget hit that bell icon like share and subscribe